I committed to the staff before Coach Horner, um, but you know things happen. Coaches change all the time, but you know I trusted, you know the staff here at App State that they would make a good hire, and here I am five years later. I started playing t-ball actually when I was probably like three or four. My parents put my brother and I into sports at a very young age. They wanted us to learn and learn leadership super early. So I started playing t-ball when I was about three or four, ever since I could walk. I committed my sophomore year. There was a camp that I was supposed to go and pitch. And at the last second, I called you know, the director of camp. And I was like, hey, can I, can I catch? I have my catching stuff. So I switched to catching the night before the camp. When I came here, I felt supported already. I felt like it was home. I really like how it's like a college town atmosphere. You know, like everybody here, you walk down the street and they are got their App State shirts on. So I really liked that aspect of it. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That was a good one, nice. Right in the gap, right in the gap. Coach Horner, she comes in and you're like, okay. She just has this passion and drive about her that, you know, is different. When I first started, I was a freshman. I was super timid, and she she was on my back a lot. Honestly, I came in probably in not the best shape. You know, I'd never played collegiately, didn't really know what to expect, and I really had to grit and grind through the first season. She saw my potential as catcher. She saw my potential as a hitter, and she really never gave up on me. The players that wanted to elevate the program. Um, you know, like a Bailey Morton, she's still here for her fifth year. She came back to, to play that fifth year. She was here when I got here as a freshman. Didn't know who I was, um, but she wanted to change the program. I was a freshman out there with a team that had never had Coach Horner as their coach. I think it helped me that I came in with her her first year because she's been able to see how I've grown as a player and as a person. Morton. Connects, it's in the gap. And coming in to score is Kelly White. A walk off for Bailey Morton with two outs. It's been so much fun and so rewarding. And if I had another year, why not just come back? Coach Horner had asked us here or there, and it was, you know, from the first time she asked me, I was like, yes, I want to come back. Uh, I love Bailey. She is not only a great catcher, but she's just a really great person. I've just seen really a huge transformation in her. One, physically with her, you know, her play, but also just mentally and as a person. And so she's, you know, brought that on to the younger players year in and year hey, out. On three. One, two, three. It's been a challenge and something different, playing with different people that I've never played with coming in with this young, young team that is very, very talented. You know, it's been a challenge for me. I've had to um, kind of step up more and I have to make sure that things, you know, get done. And that's really not been my role before. I feel like that my role has been, you know, on the field being a leader, but now I've had to like take over and be like, okay, make sure the equipment gets set up, this gets set up. Now that I am a fifth year senior, like now we're talking about the future and you know, it's nice to have a coach that doesn't only care about you as an athlete, like she cares about me personally and like what I'm gonna do. She really is one of the, you know, the best things that has happened to me, not only at App State, but like in my life.